The most outstanding percussionist award goes to a high achieving percussion student. This student has demonstrated significant, significant passion and ability for all percussive instruments, is consistent in their practice and execution and performance, and has at times served as a leader in their section. And I'm happy to present the 2024 Outstanding Percussionist Award in seventh grade to Mr. Lucas Getty. And finally, we have the Outstanding Musician Award. Um, these are the awards that go to students who have demonstrated a profound love for music through their efforts, ability, pers perseverance, and passion. These students consistently prepared, are prepared in their own performance, are natural leaders of our program who serve others around them, and effectively use their talents to make a positive difference in their community. I've got one, two, three, four, seven recipients of this award. We just couldn't decide, so we just gave them all one. So please hold your applause until the seventh name is read. That's the other one. So, in, not in any particular order, the seven recipients are Olivia Turpin, <laughs> Axel Palacio, Thomas Hood Johnson, Cheyenne Moore, Iker Hernandez, Iker Ventura, and Juliet Ayuda. Can you please give all of our students both who won an award and everyone another round of applause? Dr. Chase told me I have 100% agree. They're all great kids. I mean, I wish we could give every single one of them an award, but that'd be like thousands of dollars. So, sorry. Um, I just want to uh, take this opportunity as well to go ahead and give all my thanks and appreciations for everyone. I need to, a lot of them are on the program. Um, so I'll just kind of go down the list. First, I want to thank all of our administrators at South Hall and WLA, Mr. Joey Millwood, Ms. Uh, Christy House, Mr. Ken Townley, and Ms. Laurie Hiskis, the WLA principal. Without their support and without their help in everything that we do, we could not do anything that you see in any performance. So without their support, we just wouldn't have a band or as successful as one that we have. So I want to give them a big thanks and appreciation. I also want to give thanks, uh, more thanks to Ms. Terry Byers, Ms. Teresa Byers. She's our new w, or, uh, South Hall bookkeeper. She's done a tremendous job and has been very patient with all of my antics and lack of organization the last couple of weeks. Um, I also want to thank Mr. Steve Giovi and Mr. Kuhn Tran, the Johnson High School band directors, for allowing us to use this space for our concerts, for helping us with all the chairs and stands and other equipment that it requires to put on a performance like this. Uh, we used to have concerts in the gym. I do not miss them. So I love the space. It's very good. Um, I also want to thank Ms. Rachel Odom and Mr. Dakota Stockton, the other fine arts directors here at Johnson and South Hall. They've been supportive of us as well. And uh, finally, I want to thank not only the students on stage for such a great job, but I also want to thank all the families and, and parents and other people who pour into these kids just as much as we do, helping them make sure that they practice every day, get to their events on time, push them when they don't want to do something, uh, you know, if, if it's just a day off or whatever. Um, I really, we really appreciate all of your support because, again, without you, there would be no us. So can you please give all those people that I mentioned one more round of applause. We've got one selection for you, and before we play, I just want to give a couple of brief instructions for the kids after we're done playing it. Remember that after the piece is over, you don't need to tear anything down, you don't need to move any chairs and stands, you just need to get off stage. So that eighth grade can set up in a few moments because their performance is at eight. You're more than welcome to stay for eighth grade if you'd like. The seven years are not required, but they are highly encouraged. It's going to be a great performance. We're playing Barbie Girl. <laughs> and they told me to dance, and I said no. So, um, the last piece we're playing for seventh grade is Rock Around the Clock.